Our top news this week. During last week's Cannes Film Festival, Premier Cine Lens maker Ingenue had a nice surprise for cinematographers. At the festival, the company announced two new full-frame Optimo Ultra Compact Zoom lenses, the 21-56mm and a 37-102mm, both at T2.9. Designed to complement the bigger Optimo Ultra 12x Cine Zooms, the new lenses appear to be more compact and lightweight. And according to FD Times, Ingenue is expected to release more specifications in August, with deliveries estimated to commence sometime early next year. In addition, there is a good chance we may see prototypes at Cinegear in September or IBC later in December. Professional audio accessories maker Rycote has announced their latest major advancement in wind protection, the Nano Shield, designed to provide exceptional wind protection for getting the cleanest audio possible on set. The Nano Shield is said to be the lightest, most compact, and most advanced windshield that Rycote has ever produced. Featuring a 30% weight reduction compared to standard kits, the Nano Shield boasts a significantly more compact footprint, a novel shape with non-parallel sides, minimizing internal resonance, while providing better acoustic transparency with less frequency loss. In addition, the kit also includes an advanced low-profile XLR cable for longer mics with built-in RF filter and switchable 80 Hz low cut. Adobe has just released the July 2021 update for its Creative Cloud Suite for video creators. The latest update brings exciting new features such as speech-to-text for Premiere Pro, as well as native Apple M1 support for the latest Macs for Media Encoder, Premiere Pro and Character Animator. Designed to simplify and speed up the tedious process of captioning, Speech-to-text supports 13 languages with impressive accuracy, according to beta testers. With the latest update, M1 Mac users will also enjoy a significant boost in speed, thanks to native app support, while multi-frame rendering in After Effects now takes advantage of multi-core CPUs for a reported three-fold increase in speed. And that's it for this week, we'll be back next week with more news in 90 seconds.